Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Mozilla is busy rolling out Firefox version 119, which is our latest release, which they made available just a short while ago today on the 24th of October 2023. Now, as always, to double check that we have this latest release, we head to our main menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox, latest version 119.0. Now, there's quite a lot going on with version 119. So just to dive straight in. Now, if you are using Firefox View, which uh, is located to the top left, um, there's a couple of improvements that have rolled out. And um, first of all, we can see that they've changed the icon and the button for Firefox View. And it also includes more content according to Mozilla. Now, you can now see all your open tabs from all windows. If you sync open tabs, you'll also see all your tabs from other devices here at the bottom. And if we head over to the browsing history, um, browsing history is now listed and can sort by date or by site, which I think is a nice move. And as before, um, recently closed tabs are also listed on Firefox View. So it includes more content, a bit of an icon change, and as mentioned, a couple of improvements rolling out to Firefox View if you do use the feature. Now moving on to the next, and I'm just going to mention uh, these next two. On a gradual rollout with Firefox version 119, so this next feature is on a controlled rollout. I haven't received it yet, but nonetheless, um, Firefox now allows you to edit PDFs by adding images and alt text in addition to text and drawings. So I think if you are using the PDF viewer and reader in Firefox, that would be another nice move. And moving on to the, uh, the next new improvement, recently closed tabs now persist between sessions that don't have automatic session restore enabled. So Mozilla says manually restoring a previous session will continue to reopen any previously open tabs or windows. Now, for the next, we're going to head over to the settings, import browsing data. And if you are migrating your data from Chrome, Firefox now offers the ability uh, to import some of your extensions as well. So if you are migrating, I think that would be a handy little improvement to importing your browsing data and um, being able to import some of your extensions as well. And then just to mention the next one once again, and this is regarding um, total cookie protection, which I have posted on quite in depth before on the channel. So just do a search if you would like to know a little bit more regarding total cookie protection. But just a quick recap, uh, total cookie protection confines cookies to the site where they were created and how this helps is it prevents tracking companies from using these cookies to track your browsing from site to site so that's just a brief overview as to what a total cookie protection is and with version 119 firefox now supports the partitioning of blob urls and this mitigates a potential tracking vector that third-party agents could use to track an individual so that's a bit of a privacy improvement with that improvement now um, as part of total cookie protection. Now for this next one, we're just going to head back to settings. And this is part of the enhanced tracking protection. With Mozilla saying, um, the visibility of fonts to websites has been restricted to system fonts and uh, language packs, language pack fonts in enhanced tracking protection, strict mode to mitigate font fingerprinting. So that's a bit of a security improvement that's rolled out. Um, visibility of fonts to websites has been restricted to system fonts if you are using the strict mode in enhanced tracking protection. And then just another quick mention, um, the storage access API web standard was updated to improve security while mitigating website breakages and further enabling the phase out of third-party cookies in Firefox. So there's a lot going on here under the hood with security and privacy in Firefox version 119. Now here's another um, security improvement. Uh, encrypted Client Hello, ECH for short, is now available to Firefox users um, with version 119, which uh, gives you a more private browsing experience. And the long and the short of this is that uh, encrypted client hello improves the privacy of connections by encrypting information about the domain name during connection attempts. And now, and before this rolled out, anyone listening in on network traffic, including your ISP, your internet service provider, could monitor the information. Now, that's no longer the case. So basically, in a nutshell, uh, the feature basically improves the privacy of your internet connection, and that's uh, encrypted client hello ECH for short. 
And then just another quick mention, media sniffing is no longer applied to some files, which allows these files to be downloaded instead of attempting playback. And then this next one is for Windows users. On Windows, the mouse pointer now will disappear while typing if the relevant Windows mouse property system setting is enabled. So for that one, we're just going to head over quickly to our mouse properties on Windows. And if you have your pointer options, hard pointer while typing, as mentioned now on Windows, so this only applies to Windows users, the mouse pointer will disappear in Firefox version 119, which I think is a small yet significant improvement. And just the last one to mention, Firefox is now available in the Santali or Santali, I hope I've got their pronouncer pronunciation right language now that's uh, the new features and improvements and over and above that we get um, some enterprise and developer tweaks and adjustments which i don't think will be really um, of use and of interest to your average home user and then of course we get the all important security fixes that have rolled out with version 119 which is quite normal so for that we're going to head over to the release notes and if we just head down to those uh, various security fixes yeah, we can see that in version 119, um, Mozilla has rolled out 11 security fixes to address 11 security vulnerabilities. So as always, your browser is your first line of defense. So just double check that it's up to date, even if you are not interested in new features, tweaks or adjustments. And yeah, we can see that out of the 11 security fixes that have rolled out, three are addressing high impact have vulnerabilities which is your second highest so these are important which the first is memory safety bugs fixed yeah we've got another memory safety bugs fixed and if we scroll up to the uh, third high impact vulnerability that's been addressed uh, queued up rendering could have allowed websites to click check so um 11 security fixes rolled out three are high impact so double check your browsers up to date and that's it for now that's more or less what's new uh, in version 119 and um, as mentioned some other improvements and um, changes rolling out for enterprise and developers but for your average home user uh, Firefox version 119 now available rolled out earlier today on the 24th of October so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one